The book concludes that, that looking into the next 15 or 20 years, a gateway city network w would be a smart way to put together Australia's competitive advantages internationally from a city building perspective. And a gateway cities network means, let's understand that from an export point of view, um, we need, as people come in to Australia, the gateways are Melbourne and Sydney and to a lesser extent Brisbane. Um, and we build on those gateway cities we connect the gateway cities. And the reason we connect the gateway cities, and a good example would be connecting Melbourne, Sydney, and of course we'd connect Brisbane, and yes, it would be a fast train, uh, and no, it wouldn't compete with aviation, but yes, it, w it would provide access to all of the unique environments that we've got in Australia to be able to, again, attract international and globally significant talent. Because if we had a look at the international experience, we can have a look at places like Aspen in the United States where we have very significant concentrations of very smart and wealthy people um, who like alpine areas. Now, one of the things that we've got in Australia is, of course, um, if we looked at that, that route from Melbourne to Sydney and we extended it to Brisbane, you could live in alpine areas and you could take the train from whether it's uh, Wangaratta or whichever location you want, close to the ski fields, you can take the train to Sydney, you can take the train to Brisbane, you can go surfing on the Gold Coast, you can come to Melbourne for the races. So what we can do is we can distribute people into a number of different environments from subtropical all the way through to temperate um, very easily. And, and, and the quality of the environments that we've got is, is what makes us win. Now, if we're not prepared to think through how we utilise and broaden our base in Australia so that we can distribute wealth not just into the capital cities but via this kind of policy framework, then we're not going to provide opportunities in regional areas. And so, for example, this kind of thinking would distribute tourism. It would distribute talent and it would then create talent pools in very small areas, in very defined locations, which are, again allows us to do something very different to other countries. And so, for example, in 200 years, when someone has a look at Australia and, the, and they have a look at the unique urban environment, because it's not a capital city, we should be looking at doing the capital cities first, but what's next? And if we can create this, these unique urban environments, which are a tap, tapestry and a patchwork, which fit with our, with our natural environment, we'll win. Um, and so, as the book, moves through, you begin to understand that it's the opportunity of the global services boom that provides us the opportunity for a brand new strategy for urbanising Australia.